In 1999, I confronted Bill Clinton's drug czar. Bill Clinton had told the American people that he was going to cut back on the size of the drug war and was going to stop putting nonviolent offenders behind bars. He did the exact opposite. He hired McCaffrey, who went out there and began brutally attacking the American people and federally funding SWAT teams to kick down thousands of doors a month in search of narcotics. McCaffrey wasn't pleased that his head of anti-narcotics operations for all of Latin America got caught shipping in heroin and cocaine to New York. When I confronted him, he tried to brush it off. General McCaffrey. Alex Jones from KJFK Radio in Austin, Texas. Uh, I fully agree with you on the scourge of narcotics and their destructive uh, consequences on the human brain. But something I find uh, interesting is the massive evidence coming out in the past of our own government and other international organizations' involvement in drug smuggling. In fact, two days ago you, you called Columbia an emergency situation. And you're calling for a billion dollars and more funding. Well, your head of counter narcotics and drug operations in Colombia. His wife was just caught shipping in masses of cocaine into the United States. This is from the Washington Post, sir. Also have Reuters is right there, here on is it. There a question? Yes, that's my question. I just wanted to state my facts because, you know, we're in this world where you ask a serious question, you're a kook. Let's talk about the drug running of this government. Um, oh, yeah. question was the first press conference I had in Washington was an older reporter and you know, I said I don't know I I've, I've been serving the country for 32 years I'm not running any drugs